And we got 3.40 to go. Fourth quarter. <laughs> Seven for Manhattan. So let's see if Manhattan can beat Quinnipiac. And get their first cup or two there. And now make that 15 4. Fairfield stacks. In the running room. In the, not running room, but the running clock. Ten goals. Remember? It's a running clock. There are a few fans here that braved it, but braved the elements. The draw control, so. I'd imagine they're going to try to eat the next 75 seconds or so, which would bring you down to just over two minutes, and that would really seal the deal. And you get the feeling that Lindsey Mizuko is going to come out and potentially try to double the ball here at some point to create a turnover. That's really your only chance. But this is also why you felt comfortable if you're Manhattan, even if you didn't score on that last possession, because you could win draws if you gave up a goal. And you got to give a lot of credit to Colleen Radigan. She's been excellent in terms of dictating where the ball is going to be going off these draws and finding her teammates. And we've seen Julianne Iovine be the benefactor of a lot of those, but it's really been Radigan who's been able to take advantage and win Manhattan a lot of possessions. Trying to cut in front, and it looks like there's going to be a free position call for the Jaspers to just sort of solidify what they've already built on their way to what should be their first Mac win of the year. And an important one. Here comes the thunder and the lightning. Well, we're going to have to see what they're going to do here. Down, it's a three-goal game. A, a heavy thunder was called moments ago, and we're going to have to see what they're going to do here. Again, it's not particularly close. It's a three-goal game with two and a half minutes to go. The coach is now having the conversation, and, and, and this was prior to a free position. So you had to think, like, okay, well, what are you going to Are you going to go and wait it out, or are they going to call this one through? I mean, they play most of this. So I mean, you know my opinion. It's a three-goal game with two and a half minutes left. Manhattan has the ball. They should be calling the scheme. But I'm not sure what the NCAA rules are that dictate that. So, And it sounds like the game's been called from what I'm hearing. Yep. And so the Jaspers celebrate. They pick up their... Yep, and, you know, who can blame them? You know, obviously the Rex don't want to come back. And it's not like it's like... It's like... They've only played one quarter, or it's tied, you know, or something like that, you know. That's not like where, hey, you know, it's like a close game, you know, and then Quinnipiac could win this one. You know, Quinnipiac could tie this one up with a shot, you know, with their possession, you know, or free position. You know, because you have to think, if Manhattan scores his 8-4, you know, you know, it'd be about two and a half minutes. That'd be about, that'd be like two and a half minutes for Manhattan. He was 8 4, 234, you know, you think, yeah. So a smart move to call that one off. And especially when you play most of this game, you know. You can't, you can't blame him, though. And it's 8 5, Mount St. Mary's, up on Kinesis here. Especially with, and that's with Heavy Thunder and Lightning. And there's the women up, 3 seconds. And they're gonna, and that is the women up advantage, is over for Kinesis. I went and dropped it. Oh no! Oh my! What a bad, uh, misfortunate pl event play right there. I don't. That was just dropped. Up. Wow! No pressure, really. None. Just fell out. Wow! And that is unfortunate for. And now Kinesis has it. But it's a turnover. Kinesis can't capitalize. And the Mount looking for a fast break opportunity in transition. Here. And obviously, Mount and St. Mary's can just hold it. But obviously, there's going to be a lot of pressure on the sticks. You know, it hits on the stick, you know, trying to knock balls free. So you have to be able to pass it around, get clean looks. 
And you can't leave players open like that. You know, because they, you know the mouth is just going to kill the time. You know, so you have to get pressure on the sticks. And there's a turnover! Oh no, oh my! And there's another turnover! No! And the, and the Golden Griffin! Have to get out! And yeah, they have to move! And there's no, that's a Mount St. Mary's possession! No, that's Kinesis possession! And it does not matter! The Mount St. Mary's is your winners. 8-5 and they proved 4-7 in the conference. 2-2 two two overall. While Mer well, Kinesis falls 8-4. 2 and 2 in the earned conference play. And we have this one in the rain here. It is pretty much almost over here. We have three and a half minutes here between Fairfield and Maris here. And this one is pretty much over. Obviously, they're not going to call it off unless there's thunder lightning. But, you know. But, or really, really heavy down for rain. But 13. 15.5. And let's see here. Is there. Yeah, there is a big storm here in Wakefield, Virginia. Then we look to Baltimore, Maryland, in Mount Holly, New Jersey. Here, St. Mary's come. So. St. Mary's come. Yeah. Sussex. Into. Yep. This may have been the one. No, it's not that one. Even Sussex come. I don't know. Or maybe it's one. This one. Maybe yeah, it's this one. This one. And that. And that is the game we got. Two minutes to go. And looks like Fairfield's gonna win this one. So I'm just gonna end it here. Look around here. And that'll be it for NCAA lacrosse whip around here for the day. Okay. Um there are a couple games here I'm gonna be doing. Um later here. Uh if I can. Not today, but in different days here. And I'm not gonna be doing any softball whip around. I don't normally do lacrosse whip around, so I'm just gonna cross whip. But I'm not gonna do any stuff over uh, really five games. So um there's so many games on that one, so it's hard to do stuff over. Right? Um But on um, there's so many games here on the night here. I didn't seem in the tent. What? That might be a good time to use the quest. Here? Yeah. I will be able to do a little of a cross with them here. At. Mm, you know, I will be able to do a little bit of a cross with them. Maybe a little bit on them. Not on the tent? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know, maybe, I know we'll be able to do some sample work though, for sure, but it might have to be stuck to the names I pick. You know, I'm missing. No. But then I know a lot of these teams, you know, more than usual, because they're not airing that. Like, you know, use it for like gym, like you know, stuff. Or, um, you know, there's less 
you know, you know what I mean. That you're an experience, you know. You know, I mean, I'll give you some for at least, you know. I might just be picking to you. I might just be a little selective with the games, okay? Honestly, but so. But yeah, I'm going to be done with stuff that's with the room here on ESP. See, I'm going to be doing St. Louis in what? Not just Super Superman. In that Lemon's 80. And I'll be watching the second second. Which the missing choice, which I like the missing things so I'm watching it right? until 70s, till 80s, till 9 30, till 9 30, 79 30, maybe 9 45 to stay out. So, oh, because they close at 10 minutes, so I'm gonna be out a little bit before they close. Hopefully, so I'm gonna see what we're doing. 